Creative Kids Channel. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Neil Armstrong who lived in a small town in Ohio. Neil was like many other children he loved playing outside, riding his bike, and spending time with his family. But there was something that made Neil different. He dreamed of flying. Not just flying in an airplane, but flying beyond the clouds, past the sky, all the way to the stars. At night, Neil would often lie on the grass and gaze up at the stars. He wondered what it would be like to visit one of those tiny lights in the sky. He would imagine himself floating in space, exploring faraway planets and walking on the moon. Neil was curious about the universe, and he believed that one day, he would make his dream come true. When Neil was six years old, his father took him to an air show. There, Neil saw airplanes flying high above him, performing loops and tricks in the sky. He was amazed by how the planes moved so fast and smoothly. That day, Neil decided that he wanted to become a pilot. As he grew older, Neil became even more interested in airplanes and space. He built model airplanes and read books about flight. He wanted to learn everything he could about how airplanes worked and how it was possible for them to fly. His parents encouraged him, telling him that with hard work, he could achieve anything he set his mind to. At the age of 16, Neil earned his pilot's license. Even before he learned how to drive a car, he loved flying and felt at home in the sky. The freedom he felt while flying made him even more determined to pursue his dream of exploring the unknown. After high school, Neil went to college to study engineering. He knew that understanding how machines worked would help him become a better pilot. But soon after he started college, Neil's life took a new direction. The United States was at war, and Neil joined the U.S. Navy to serve as a pilot. He flew airplanes during the Korean War, where he showed incredible bravery and skill. When the war ended, Neil returned to college to finish his studies. He became a test pilot, flying experimental airplanes that could reach incredible speeds and altitudes. Neil loved pushing the limits and always wanted to learn more about how airplanes and spaceflight worked. His love for flying and his knowledge of engineering caught the attention of NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA was working on something extraordinary, they wanted to send humans to the moon. No one had ever been to the moon before, and many people thought it was impossible. But NASA believed it could be done, and they were looking for astronauts to help make it happen. In 1962, Neil Armstrong was chosen to be an astronaut. Neil's dream of flying to space was now within reach, but it wasn't going to be easy, he had to train hard. Neil and the other astronauts practiced flying spacecraft, walking in weightlessness, and working in spacesuits. They had to be ready for anything because traveling to the moon was dangerous, and there was no room for mistakes. In 1969, Neil was chosen to be the commander of the Apollo 11 mission, the first mission to land humans on the moon. On July 16, 1969, Neil, along with his fellow astronauts Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins, launched from Earth aboard a rocket. As they soared into space, the world watched in awe. Neil's dream of reaching the moon was about to come true. After three days of traveling through space, Apollo 11 reached the moon's orbit. Neil and Buzz prepared to land the lunar module, Eagle, on the moon's surface. It was a difficult landing, but Neil's skill as a pilot guided the Eagle safely to the ground. When the spacecraft touched down, Neil calmly announced to the world, Houston, Tranquility Base here, the Eagle has landed. The world cheered. It was a historic moment, but the most exciting part of the mission was still ahead. A few hours later, it was time for Neil to step onto the moon. He carefully climbed down the ladder of the lunar module, his heart pounding with excitement. 
As he took his first step onto the moon's surface, Neil said the famous words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. His step was small, but it represented something enormous for all of humanity. Neil and Buzz spent time exploring the moon's surface, collecting rocks, taking photographs, and even planting an American flag. Meanwhile, Michael Collins remained in orbit around the moon, making sure everything went smoothly. After spending 21 hours on the moon, the astronauts returned to their spacecraft and began the journey back to Earth. On July 24, 1969, Apollo 11 splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, and the astronauts returned home as heroes. Neil Armstrong became a symbol of what humans could achieve when they worked hard and believed in their dreams. Neil's story teaches us that no dream is too big. Whether it's flying to the stars or achieving something closer to home, anything is possible with determination, hard work, and the courage to take the first step. Neil Armstrong showed the world that the sky isn't the limit, it's just the beginning. Thanks for watching. For watching more kids' educational videos, subscribe Innovative Kids channel.